Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, in this episode, we got a pretty good compilation for you. Uh, old Cass and I, we've uh, been digging over the last couple weeks and just filming clips here and there. And uh, I found some pretty good stuff, but I wanted to let you know you're going to see somebody new in this upload. Uh, my buddy Scott Hughes, he came out and dug by himself for a little while uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So if you, uh, and I probably, I think I've talked about Scott before. Scott's a real big Ackerman collector. And uh, I'll go ahead and just tell you, it's a kind of a spoiler, but he finds uh, just about an almost intact big chief. And um, I, was, I was really pulling for him because that's one of the bottles he doesn't have. And uh, I think you've seen in an earlier episode, I dug a whole one. And uh, I think I was pretty fortunate because I have that one and I know one other guy that has one. And uh, those things are pretty rare. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, go like the video and uh, subscribe to the Jones Boys. Guys, old Cass and I, we out kind of exploring a new spot today. And we finding a bunch of broken pieces. You can see some we scratched out of the ground right there. But, uh... There's the bottom of a broken west point. I just don't know how to go about doing this. I scratched a little spot right there. You can see glass scattered all right there. So right here in this spot, they dumped the bottles as well. Y'all can hear them, them dogs barking. Um, Cass just stepped right over. I was walking and looking, though. And look what we got right there. Marble. Yeah, that's a marble. Marble. It looks like an old cat eye. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna take that with us. I actually, I didn't film it, but I uh, I came and checked this place out one time before, and found one laying on top of the ground. So that makes two I found out here. Anyway, I don't know if we're gonna waste a whole lot of time. It seems like back in the day, kind of right in that area I was at, I was told that a man and a woman had dug that out, and you can tell there's there was definitely bottles there at one time, and uh. So they dug it out real good and I can't help but think that they might have chunked something back in here behind them. But I've looked around in them woods and the layer just doesn't seem too deep and it's got a hard clay layer in it. So I just don't know. But anyway, that marble was a good find. So anyway, we're going to kind of look around here a while longer and we might go back. Uh, yes, we do. We might go back to our other spot. So y'all stay with us. Guys, I just... Uh, we picked us a new spot, and man, I thought that was whole. Hello. That's a that's Hello. a Durant Durant Christmas coat, just stuck right up in there in the ground, right there on the top layer. So I don't know, and uh, they got some pieces of some broken Ackermans as well, several of them. So anyway, that's that's Hello. promising. That's promising anyway, because I'm gonna tell you up Hello. there. Up there's the top of the hill I about done tapped out. So uh, anyway, y'all stay with us and uh, we'll be back with we'll finding things. What's going on guys? I'm back at it this morning and listen, y'all missed a rainstorm. You can tell. I just got soaking wet and had to go sit in the truck just a little bit. But anyway, I'm back down at the bottom of this hill. I was digging up there at the top and I'm telling you, I think that's about run out. And I was told I was digging right up there, and I was told that years ago the bottles were thrown up on top of the hillside right here. I looked up there real good and couldn't really find a soft spot to dig, but I'm not giving up hope up there because there could be some stuff left. So anyway, I've come back down to the bottom, and this tree root right here the other day, when I started digging, I seen a coat bottle stuck up in there. So I started digging, and I pulled out several pieces of some uh 1915s and some christmas cokes and I, I can't tell if that's an older beer or not but i just pulled this one out tops knocked off of it but that's an ackerman 19 uh 15 and then there's a west point and there's another bottom of a 1915 so i'm digging pieces of stuff but the reason i turned the camera on Oh, I have been on the hot street with these marbles. See that shining right there? That's a nice little pretty green and white one. I don't know, man. 
lucky with the bottles and then I get lucky with the marbles. So that's not a bad find though for a rainy Sunday morning. So anyway, we're going to keep on digging in that hole right there. And I'm telling you, there's still stuff in here. It's just a lot of, a lot of bricks and other stuff you got to dig in. So, so that's first find of the day. So y'all stay with us. Well, that right there will break your heart. That was stuck in the ground like that. I pulled it out. Top still on it. 1915. Don't know the town, but uh, I am just about bet you that was Ackerman. So anyway, hey, here's hope, though, because I'm telling you, when I first started in this place, about a year ago, right beside that gum right there, is where I started digging, and I found a 1915. Right there, that was hole just about in mint condition. And over six months, I dug all the way up there, and I dug up at the top, so... I'm telling you, <clears throat> this layer right here is pretty, pretty thick, so I'm going to just keep on kind of going up through this area. So hopefully we'll uh we'll find a hole. Well y'all that's all I got time for. I got a pretty good hole here. And I knocked down a bunch, I gotta clean it out, but guess what? Broke my shovel. Pulling out that big piece of tin right there and I got up under it bare down too much. So anyway, I'm hitting uh older, I say older, newer glass back this way. Seems like all the older stuff is kind of up on the side of this hill, kind of going up right through there, so I did pop out, popped out that medicine bottle and a, a older Vaseline jar. Man, that's about it. Um, of course, them broken coats that I showed you earlier. Hey, but I did find a marble early this morning, so that's always a good thing. But listen, we'll be back. Uh, Y'all stay with us. And uh, hopefully whenever we come back, we'll get in some glass. Whew. Old Cass and I are back after it this morning. And he's got a pretty little impressive little hole dug right there on Sean. Grown a little bit. But anyway, you can see, I was digging in that hole right there. Kind of run out of stuff. And the layer changed. I see what you're doing. I see that hole. Same way, we're back down at the hill, and this is where I originally started digging in this dump. So we came back here and started out here. And that layer's really thin. <clears throat> so I hadn't got real deep, but I've been working my way backwards, just scratching. And look at all that wire I ran into. And unfortunately, I don't have any bolt cutters, but I'm hoping that stuff goes all the way around in here. So I'm hoping I can get it cut out and peel it back, and maybe there's something protected under it. But what I wanted to show you right now is this old tire it was right in this area and I flipped it over and got to kicking around and it's not whole but <clears throat> that's part of a straight side coke and I don't know where it's from let's see it's this property of coca-cola Biling company and it is from West Point so that is a shoulder script I don't have that one but that's pretty cool. I'm probably just going to take that with me. I might saw that one off. And even though Coca-Cola's messed up, but it was laying right there. So, Guys, I still think there's stuff here. It's just a lot of broken stuff. And Okay, we'll look at your hole. Yep, that thing's deep. But uh, there's still stuff here. Just got to search for it. I did pull out. I'll set that up there. Pulled out another. Well, that's a broken Ackerman Christmas Coke I pulled out. And then I chunked. There's a broken West Point neck was knocked off of that one. And there was another. There was a Durant bottle. I pulled out and I've misplaced it. I can't find it, but I was up there on the hill. Just right there. So anyway, it's the day after Thanksgiving. We're going to stay a little while longer, see what we can find. Hope everybody had a great one. And if we find anything, we'll be back with you. What's going on, guys? I'm Scott. Probably never seen me before. Digging today, social distancing from Luke. I'm here this morning. He's going to be here about mid morning. Kind of digging to the left where it's November 28th, by the way. Saturday, November 28th. Trying to get a little digging in before the Egg Bowl, Hale State. Uh, kind of digging to, where, to the left where Luke was yesterday. And I wish I had it on film, but it was raking out. We had a 23 Ackerman, 
fall out. And then the heartbreak of a lifetime, clear big chief fell out of the hole from Ackerman. Missing the top, but can't complain we find these no matter what condition it's in. But uh, we're gonna keep on digging. Be with y'all shortly. Got a green bottle, but I can't tell what it is. It's not embossed on the bottom. Let's pull it out together. Seven up. Can't tell if it out of town or not. Pretty solid. I'm pulling these bricks out. You can see there's a bottle right there. I can feel it's embossed. Let's see if we can pull this one out. That is Ackerman Broke Coat. I can't tell what year it is. Chattanooga. Got another bottle right here. We'll see what it is. Looks like a Louisville. That feels broke. <clears throat> That's what it is, a Louisville coat. It's telling Luke. It's odd that we hadn't seen Louisville Coke in here before because their Louisville Coca-Cola Bottling Company it was right on Main Street in Louisville about 15 miles from here. But yet you find Durant, West Point, which is a lot further away from Ackerman. So I don't know if that's the first Louisville that we pulled out of here. That's the first for me. We'll keep on digging. Just raked up and looks like a new grape. Let's see if she's whole. And she is. See, no town on the bottom. It's new grape soda, imitation grape flavor. Probably an ACL. Uh, it's a good find. I'll take that. I'll take a whole bottle out of here anyway. Some guys, Scott just had to pull out, but man, you can see all the pieces he just found. And check this out. That's some kind of milk glass with embossed letters. Never seen anything quite like it. If you know something about it, drop it in the comments. But uh, there's pieces everywhere. So anyway, he was digging right up in this area. And uh, I'm telling you, right in here. There's a sunken spot right over there, so I think if we make our way towards it, that's what we need to do. So anyway, y'all just stay with us. Guys, Scott just left, and I can tell the top sheared off of it. That's a soda water. Let's see if the bottom, bottom is on it. That was just a gun. And y'all heard that shot. I guess somebody is shooting by their house. Scared the mess out of me. That's an Ackerman. I'm going to tell you, I might run that by to him. So anyway, y'all stay with us. No, you don't. Guys, I think I got an intact blue mason jar. I cannot believe that. And it is intact. I haven't found one in a while. 
web. Check it out. Number two on the bottom. It's got to open the hole up. Now you ain't here to find any of the stuff. Y'all stay with us. Well, guys, there's a few. There's a few stuff pieces of stuff in there. I hadn't quite got that old fender out right there. Pulled out this old grape bet bottle a while ago, and it's in pretty good condition. Anyway, I'm finna go find Scott. Take him that soda water. Maybe he'll want it. And even that old ball jar. See if he wants that in his well. But still puzzled by that right there. So anyway, we'll probably be back tomorrow. If for some reason we don't, I'm going to get this one uploaded. And uh, anyway, we appreciate y'all watching. Go like our videos and subscribe to the Jones Boys.